The flag of South Africa is, in my opinion, one of the best national flags and highly underrated. It's been used in its current form since 1994 and has beautiful symbolism behind these six colors. Before we talk about the colors and design, let's travel back in time and look at how the South African flag has evolved throughout time. When making this video, I was wondering where I should start since South Africa is considered the cradle of humankind and contains some of the oldest human fossil sites in the world. Before the Portuguese exploration and the Dutch colonization that followed, the land was primarily populated by various native groups. But these native and indigenous groups of people did not use flags as we know them today, and starting from that time would take way too long. The Zulu kingdom used this yellow, green, and red tricolor. It was a monarchy in South Africa ruled by an indigenous South African royal family. From 1816 to 1897, they ruled a wide expanse of Southern Africa, which extended along the coast of the Indian Ocean. And because we don't have other flags for different indigenous groups in South Africa, I want to go back in time to start with the one that flew over a specific territory in the country, which was that of the Dutch Cape Colony. They used the Dutch red, white, and blue tricolor with their VOC logo in the middle. Those Dutch inhabitants of the colony and their descendants later traveled northeast in what is known as the Great Trek. They carried with them this banner, which was used between 1836 and 1840, and it was a red St. Andrew's cross on a blue background. Those migrating groups of settlers later formed independent self-governing republics called the Boer Republics. The New Republic and the Little Free State were small Boer republics that used these two similar flags. Both were followed by the South African Republic, which used the same flag as the Little Free State until they were absorbed into the newly established Transvaal colony by the British, a blue ensign with a lion badge. Another Boer republic was the short-lived Natalia Republic. They utilized the Dutch colors in this fashion until it was annexed by the British to form the Natal colony with its blue ensign and a badge with two wild beasts. The Orange Free State had this unique design that they used until they met the same fate as the previous Boer Republics. When it was annexed by the British, they called it the Orange River Colony, and they flew another blue ensign with an antelope this time on its circular badge. The state of Goshen only lasted one year, and they had this flag until their unification with the neighboring Stellaland as the new United States of Stellaland. They were of course later incorporated into the new British Cape Colony which followed the other British colonies with their blue ensign and heraldic badge inside. Fast forward to 1910 and we see the unification of the Cape, Natal, Transvaal and the Orange River colonies and the creation of the new Union of South Africa. They used this red ensign with the coat of arms of South Africa from 1910 to 1928. And so it was in 1928 when the Union of South Africa again switched its flag. The new flag was based on the Dutch Prince's flag and in the middle we had the flags of the United Kingdom, the Orange Free State and the flag of the earlier South African Republic in the center. When apartheid ended in 1994 and Nelson Mandela was elected president, the national flag was changed once more and the flag we know today was adopted. But to understand the background of the design, we have to look back to 1993, when the chief negotiators of the National Party, which used this flag and the African National Congress, which used this other tricolor, were tasked with designing a new national flag. Keep in mind this ANC tricolor because it'll be important towards the end of this video. And so the leaders of the two political parties chose a South African man named Frederick Brownell, who designed the current flag. Mr. Brownell was later awarded a medal by President Nelson Mandela in the year 2000 for his role in the design of the South African flag. So what makes up the South African flag and what's the symbolism behind those colors and shapes? In the middle we have this Y-shaped green section which separates the red, white and blue horizontal tricolor from a black triangle lined by a golden section. The red, white and blue come from the Dutch flag and signify the Dutch colonies in South Africa as well as the colors found on the British Union Jack. The black and green yellow come from the African National Congress flag that we talked about earlier. This new flag, which contains both the colonial heritage and the African community, challenged the division between the country's diverse communities, and it also tries to show that South Africa would move forward as a nation. We can still see the modern flag as well as the apartheid flag and the Dutch and British ones flying side by side over Cape Town's fortress. So that was a brief look at the history, evolution, and meaning behind the South African flag. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment with any corrections, suggestions, or extra information you might have, and I will see you next time on Council of Knowledge.